I was advised that there is a process where different persons, based on their, their stature, as well as their responsibility in the country, are awarded scholarships from time to time, or the scholarship is awarded in the person's name. I was asked at the time, and I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity for me to mentor some of these young people so that they can at least pursue their education. Please be advised that the scholarship would not have incurred any cost from the government or from me personally. It would have been from the Western Hospitality Institute, who at the time was offering degree and associate degree programs. Thank you, Acting Permanent Secretary, Dr. Grace McLean. Ms. Burton, do you still need to ask your follow-up question? You had said it would have come depending on the response. Yes, to Dr. McLean again, please, mm -hmm. Dr. McLean. Okay, so the approval process, in other words, because you were the CEO at the time and WHI was a beneficiary of the CAP program that you also had oversight of, did you go through any kind of process at all in terms of getting approval to accept a scholarship from WHI being named in your honor? So I did not accept a scholarship personally to be named in my honor. I merely asked or allowed for the young person who would have been awarded uh, to know that the scholarship is being, let me see, let me say overseen by someone who cares about the advancement of our education. I believe Grace McLean is a person and a citizen of this country. And so if I can assist in mentoring these young people, I don't see why I shouldn't have the responsibility to do so. This scholarship had nothing to do with the career advancement program or any programs within the ministry. It is a scholarship that is being offered by an institution. And if you do the research, you will know that that there are many institutions that offer scholarships and they utilize persons who they would like to mentor these young people. So the fact that it would have been awarded to a student who would have completed the CAP program had nothing to do with the actual scholarship and the payment for the pursuit of this scholarship. Thank you, Dr. Grace please, McLean. Please don't leave the, the podium. I just want to ask Dr. McLean again. Um, when you said it has nothing to do with the CAP program, the logos of the Ministry of Education, the logo of the CAP program were both on the actual application form and where you were supposed to submit it to once you actually complete the application form. It was supposed to be sub submitted to the CAP program at the Canewood Center, which I understand is a former ministry. I don't know if it's former or current ministry address. So when you say it doesn't have anything to do with the CAP program, why were the logos of the CAP program Program and the Ministry of Education used on that application form for submission to the CAP program at Kingwood Central. Okay, Ms. Burton, it's clear that you have a significant amount of questions to ask. I am suggesting that you formalize your questions and submit them to the Ministry so we can give you a formal response as well. I think that the questions are very important, but they require significant detail, which I do not believe that we're armed with the facts today to ventilate them properly in this forum. <laughs> 